Today we're gonna keep following the wise men. See what happens to them as they get close to the hills of Bethlehem. Oh, oh it's the little town of Bethlehem. Oh, look at that, how still it seems to lie. <laughs> oh, is it wonderful? Finally, the star has led us here. And down there, everyone seems to be sleeping so quietly. Somewhere in those streets, the child that we're looking for must be sleeping too. Oh, this is wonderful, wonderful. Oh, it's as if the hopes of all our years of studies will be met in this town tonight. Yes, and in fact, that's a pretty good line. I should write that down, maybe put some music to that. Anyway, don't, 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 get, don't get distracted, Melchior. You are got to focus. Come all this way all these months, and now we're almost there. And the star, it seems to have settled, and it's, it's fading out there. Over, this, over that little shack. Yes, that must be where we need to go. I think that's where we'll need to be. Yes, certainly down there is where the little baby's going to be. Hey, uh, the, the Gaspar, Balthazar, whoever you are, come on, part the camels, find a place to tie them up. I'm going down. We're going to go and say hi to this baby. We've brought royal gifts. It'll be wonderful. Let's see now. Oh, this is a long way away. Joseph making those chairs. That was really fun, wasn't it? I'm so glad that Joseph was able to find some tools to be able to build some good things to sell so we can really survive here in Bethlehem. Oh, I can't wait for you to see Nazareth and our home there. Oh, our home there is so much nicer. Well, a little bit nicer. And Joseph has his whole carpenter shop. And I know you're going to have so much fun working with Daddy as you grow up. But first you need to be a little bit bigger so we can travel back to Nancy. What is that? Is that the other door? But it's so late. And Joseph went to deliver those chairs. I wonder who that could be. Uh, the angel said, do not be afraid. Okay. So I won't be afraid. Come in. Oh. Oh, 
No, no, come on, guys. Okay, I'll take your present. Just all right. I'll take your present. You can get that paper temple out of there, tire up somewhere else. No. Yeah. I'm really sorry about your garden. Gaspar is pretty good at agriculture, so hopefully she can fix the fix a bit of a disaster in there later on. But anyhow, this Gaspar said this. Now be careful, this one uh, smells really good. It's kind of a strong smell. Oh, yes. I smell that before. Mm. Yeah, I recognize that. Where, what is this? Where does this come from? No, well, you must have smelled it uh, in the temple. Your, your priest burned this on the altar. It's frankincense made from the sap of the Boswellia tree and used because it has such a fragrant smell. When burned on an altar, such as the altar of incense in your temple, in front of the most holy place, it, the smell rises up to the sky and it represents the prayer and praisings of all men raising, worshiping God on high. Again, that has a certain ring to it. I bet you could do something with that. Anyways, uh, so that, uh, that's, that represents just how this child is God. He's God and he deserves to be worshipped with prayer and praising. Now let's see. Wow, how, how do you know that? And our priests don't even seem to recognize that Jesus is the Messiah. Oh, well, Jesus? Jesus, is that the baby's name? Yeah. Oh, it's perfect, it's beautiful, and he's a sleeping baby. Oh, it means he shall save his people. Oh, I love it, I love it, it's perfectly, perfectly chosen. But you know, I don't know why your priests don't seem to understand. I mean, they have all the instructions, all the information, all the prophecies written down in the scrolls, but it's like they act like, oh, like everything's just boring. Like they don't understand it when they read it. They don't want to understand it. Oh, well, it's kind of sad. Oh, speaking of sad, so we, we do have one more present for you. Um, this Balthazar. Just, just a moment, sorry. Let us see what's up with Balthazar. Balthazar, did you get that donkey tied up here? Oh no, Balthazar, look at the donkey. He's gonna kick it up. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark, Balthazar. You better get back on down and uh, don't go to the river. Uh, soak your leg and see if maybe the bruises won't be too big. Uh, I'll take your present in for you, Balthazar. I'll take it in. All right, Balthazar. Everything okay out there? Oh, well, you know, for, for me, such wise scholars in the library, we're really not that good when it comes to handling animals. But anyhow, here, uh, now be careful with this one. Father's all will be all right. He'll be all right. So uh, here, this is, uh, don't spill it. It can be awful messy, but it smells really good. Wow, it looks like oil. It smells really good. Mm. What, what is it? Have you ever read the, the book of Isaiah? No, no, I haven't. Oh, well, you should. You should. You should read the book of Isaiah. Because, because the prophet Isaiah, he writes that this Messiah, your baby, will be a king. And he says, the Messiah, your baby, will be God. But he also says that the Messiah, your baby, will be something else. It will be a sacrifice. Sacrifice? Like, like the lamb sacrifices? Just exactly like the lamb sacrifices. You know, the, the, the lambs in the temple. You know, I think even the priests, when, they are, when they're sacrificing the, the lambs, they don't understand it. But those lambs, from the morning and evening offerings, as well as for the daily burnt offerings, for sin, those lambs all represent how the Messiah will come someday, and he will die as a sacrifice. So yes, no, I, I, that, that's basically, uh, basically yeah. what it is. Oh, and that's why we brought you myrrh. That means Jesus, Jesus is going to die? Well, possibly so. I, it seems to be that what the prophecies will indicate, and that's why we brought you myrrh, which which is used to anoint a, a dead body before it's sealed up in a stone cold tomb. So that's what Simeon said. Who's Simeon? Simeon, is he? Is he one of my group? I, I just, I lose track of them all no, the time. No, no, no. We met him at the temple um, when Jesus, right after Jesus was born. And he recognized Jesus as the Messiah. He, he died not long after, but he was telling me that my heart but in the end it would be all worth it. He must have read the same prophecies you've been studying. And he knew what would happen. And he wanted to warn me. Well, it'll all be worth it in the end. That's what we must believe. The prophecies somehow indicate that
that the death of the Messiah is part of the plan. Oh, but uh, until then, we just have to, we just have to believe. Now listen, uh, all my other uh, scholars certainly want to get in here and, and, and worship the baby as well. I just, I'll just, uh, I'll send them all in. Uh, they probably need some help tying up the animals and they will come back in and, and we'll visit a while longer if that's okay. Hopefully your, your husband is coming back soon. Yeah, just as soon. All right, good, good. Well, you know, we'll, we'll come back in in just a moment. Well, little Jesus, maybe we should wake you up and get you dressed. So we're going to worship you. Thank you so much for all of those. And we want to give our lives and our hearts back to you because we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. 